Hi there, it's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. And I'll take you back to December 22nd, 2011. And AMD pulls the curtain off their new GCN architecture. Ahead of schedule, I might add you, which is just ridiculous because that never happens anymore. This was supposed to come out on uh, January 9th of 2012, but AMD pulled the wool off this thing early, showing off their new uh, 28 nanometer architecture. Uh, you know, they, they're showing off the Tahiti core, trying to, uh, you know, kill the G Force and, you know, make it happen. And, uh, you know what? This thing turned out to be a beast of a card. Most of the technology in this is still in use in AMD's current line to some degree, whether it's been shrunken down or, you know, made better. But uh, this is a pretty awesome card. And I secured it for $100, which is pretty awesome. So let me bring you on a tale of the original GCN, the original 7970, not even the gigahertz edition, and let you know, should you buy one of these things in 2017, now that it's like five and a half years later? Cue an intro and I'll tell you all about it. Whoa, okay. So, I bought this uh, as kind of an interim, intermediary card. A lot of you guys know uh, I recently sold my RX 480 for like a ridiculous amount of money. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do. And I know a lot of you guys want me to buy a high-end card like a GTX 1080. And uh, I didn't do that, at least not yet. Uh, but I'll explain my reasoning in a second. Uh, but I found, I was just about to buy a, a 1050 Ti, because I need a video card. Um, and, uh, you might ask why such a low-end card. Well, it's a pretty damn good card these days. But I saw this pop up on the old Kijiji for less than half the price of buying a new, uh, 1050 Ti. And I thought, it would be way better just to pick this thing up and put it through spaces and see if it's even worth it. Even did some research and overclocked, this thing should actually be quite a bit faster than even the 1050 Ti. Although it will generate a hell of a lot more heat and it will definitely uh, take a lot uh, more on your power bill. So, uh, I plopped the, picked this thing up from a guy in a parking lot. He's not even got it in a plastic or, you know, a, a static free bag or whatever. He's just like, here you go. And I grabbed this thing and realized it's like the original of original 7970s. Not a gigahertz edition. You know, it doesn't have any special cooler on it. It's not even a sapphire. It's literally just a reference uh, Radeon. I, I think it might have been made by Sapphire, but uh, at least that's what uh, GPU-Z says, but um, you know, it, it's it's a weird thing. So, I put it in the computer expecting it to overclock like a beast because most of these are known for going like well beyond a gigahertz, uh, somewhere in the area of 1100 megahertz with some tweaking and they'll of course get very hot and the blower will be going like crazy, but it should theoretically be possible. Uh, not the case with this one. And, uh, you know, YouTube's kind of a thankless thing. I make a video that takes an hour and I just rant about AMD Vega, uh, you know, do a quick edit, throw it up on the internet, it gets 5,000 views. But this video will probably only get you know, 500, 1,000 views in the first uh, day or two, and might go on eventually to get more, but uh, I spent a lot of time trying to get this thing to work properly, and, you know, a couple days in benchmarking it through different video games, and, uh, you know, so hit, click the subscribe button and follow me along on my journey, because when I do a lot of work for YouTube, and I put a lot of work into this thing, and I hope someday it'll pay off. Uh, anyways, long, long story short, um, I, I cleaned this thing, as you can see here. Thinking that maybe my overclocking uh, performance, or lack thereof, 
was an issue with the heat sink being dirty or the thermal grease being you know problematic uh, no 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 help okay I, I loaded different BIOSes onto it but I can never get this thing anywhere close to a gigahertz it might get to 950 before I start to see screen artifacting and what have you and this version I, I cannot seem to find any voltage controls or anything so I eventually gave up and it is how it is this thing either had a really harsh life and will no longer overclock or it might be like one of the original OG you know lost the silicon lottery you know uh, boards that they put in maybe like a, an HP or a Dell because uh, I saw a picture of this in a computer it had some pretty gross mustard and yellow uh, you know power cords coming out of it they put it in some uh, HP Dell whatever computer sold it as a 7970 with no intention of anyone ever overclocking it uh, because you know it did not perform as well you know it was binned you know lower or something like that I'm not sure or maybe just had a really harsh life and you know you have overclocking issues after uh, a hard life in a bad case or something like that not sure but I cleaned it all up and everything and I was stuck pretty much at base frequencies now the specs on this thing are as follows it has uh, up to 925 megahertz GPU uh, 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 which is nice uh, boot, uh, memory clock of 1375 megahertz and uh, does about 3.79 T flops now just to give you uh, an idea the gigahertz edition of this says it does uh, uh, 5 uh, well 0.5 more uh, 4.3 teraflops of compute performance. So, uh, if you overclock this or have a really good one or have one of those crazy, like, Asus 3 card slot versions of this thing, and you can get it up near, like, uh, 1150 megahertz, it's a beast of a card. You know, it's actually the R9270 uh, once they rebranded it. So, the Tahiti core in this thing is capable of a lot, but I got stuck with a dud. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm happy to report that even at stock frequencies, even, you know, whatever, I'm still happy I purchased this thing over a 1050 Ti because it's uh, kind of a nostalgic thing. It's nice to see, you know, where they came from. I'm surprised it's this big and not a lot's changed in, uh, you know, that time. It's still a blower design compared to like the RX 480, 580s, uh, you know, reference cards. Still a blower design. Still, you know, got a lot of the same kind of tech built into it. Uh, and it kind of it feels like a Radeon card, but uh, you know, in the end, can it perform? Well, if you can pick this thing up for a good price, I would say well under two, you know, $150. You're not doing too bad, especially if it's a gigahertz edition, but at $100, half the price of 1050 Ti and getting about the performance of that, you know, it's a steal of a deal in my opinion. And the only problem is it's very hot. Well, it's not even as hot as uh, let's say the R9 uh, 390X that I was using before. It's nowhere near as hot as that because it's not anywhere near as powerful. Uh, but, uh, you know, it performs pretty decently. I, I've you know, been playing a lot of player on known ballot grounds, and uh, with this uh, medium settings, I don't really think it's a big deal. Uh, it does pretty decently in DirectX 12 in uh, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. It did 40 FPS with all the settings on max, even hair works. Uh, did a little worse, actually, in DirectX 11. So that shows how uh, DirectX 12 and uh, AMD have been working pretty well together uh but in the end you know is this a good buy in 2017 well i'll let you decide but uh if you can pick one up for a good price you have a very good power supply and it's more of a budget builder you're not expecting too too much this is a very nice card in fact i would take this over the uh gtx 770 uh two gigabyte edition or the gtx uh, 680 uh two gigabyte edition um it's it's really actually performed quite nicely and uh, i think it outperforms both those cards i just mentioned especially if you can overclock it, but uh, I'll leave you guys in the comments to battle that. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. You could win a Ryzen motherboard CPU and RAM once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So click this video or wait till the end of the uh, video and click the uh, the contest link and check that out because you know 
being subscribed to me could pay off. But uh, I'm going to keep playing with this thing. I got a whole whack of stuff coming, just not much of it that's coming uh, the last couple days. So I got a 4K monitor review, and you might ask, why do I have this card and a 4K monitor? Well, don't worry about it. Uh, I got a whole whack of old stuff that I'm going to be getting into, some older AMD and uh, NVIDIA hardware, or ATI, I should say, <laughs> hardware. I'm going to be doing a, a, a an older build. It's going to be interesting. But uh, as far as the HD 7970 goes... It has a place in any AMD fanboy's heart as the OG GCN, really, where uh, AMD kicked uh, NVIDIA's butt for about a year with this card. And we're really hoping that Vega might do the same, although a lot of signs are pointing to not. Uh, come on, AMD. Pull a 79, 70 gigahertz edition out of your butts and make Vega the best video card ever. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Timmy Joe. Have a good day. I watch Timmy Joe on Instagram, Twitter. Check out my contest. <sighs>